What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, LB Skinny. And today, I'm here to check out Peyton Manning. He cracking jokes from John Cena, Kevin Durant, and Russell Westbrook at the ESPYs. So, yeah, I was seeing memes and shit about it, but I'm about to show y'all the full video. Like, we about, we about to check it together, for real, because I ain't seen it. Welcome to the ESPYs Awards. I'm your host, Peyton Manning. And uh, tonight, I am honored following in the footsteps of all the other great SB hosts. Timeless icons like Jimmy Smith, Jeff Foxworthy, and of course, who's the boss is Tony Danza. The only difference like, between me and those other guys... No offense, but I feel like this is about to be a whole bunch of white comedy that I, like, that old white people laugh at that I'm not gonna know what the fuck they be talking about. Until they get to he started talking about the niggas and shit, but guys, I knew when to retire. Tonight is very special because this is the ESPY's 25th anniversary, right? 25 years. Amazing. Amazing. Back when this show debuted, Michael Jordan's Bulls had is. just won their third consecutive championship. Simone Biles wasn't even born yet. And I still had my original neck. Mm. And this anniversary show is going to be different because the ESPY Awards are being hosted by a former athlete. Yep, the ESPYs finally got it right this year because normally some comedian or entertainer or Matthew Perry comes up here and just tears the athletes to shreds. <laughs> I don't know who okay, Matthew okay. Perry is. I know what some is. of y'all are thinking, right? John Cena hosted the ESPYs last year and he's an athlete. Mm. My nigga John Cena. Yeah. He knows some shit coming. John Cena is an athlete the same way that Ryan Lochte is a reliable witness. Okay. It's just... Ah, uh, he's a... He can't see me. It's just statement, right? But Phelps, I don't get the right? joke. I'm right, yeah. Thank you, Phelps. Yeah. Unfortunately, my brother Eli can't be here tonight because that's what I told the folks at the door. <laughs> But I'm sure if Eli was here, he would like to tell you all. Hey, hey. <laughs> Look, I can give Eli a hard time. He's my brother. But I'm not going to rip on any of you guys, okay? No, I, mean, I thought he was going to get at him. They wanted me to say all this stuff to mock athletes and coaches. I said, no, absolutely not. I'm not going to do it. And here are a few of the jokes that I hated the most. <laughs> Because I would never say these, ever, like this one. <laughs> Last year's LA Rams are the subject of the critically acclaimed docu-series All or Nothing. Spoiler, it's nothing. <laughs> Come on. Rams new coach Sean McVay is here. Sean, do you think they wanted me to say that in Los Angeles of all places? I'm not doing that. And then there's this one, all right? They love this one. And I got to tell you, it's disgusting. <laughs> This year, Aaron Rodgers delivered on his promise to the fans of Green Bay that the Packers would run the table. Also this year, Terrell Owens delivered on his promise to his bosses at Golden Corral that he would mop the floor. Come on, T.O., I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't say that. You're my guy. You're my friend. Hall of Fame next year for sure, I'm calling it. I'm going to do that. Oh, yeah. I forgot about I'm, these. I don't uh, watch football, so I'm not really getting these jokes. jokes. And these SB folks... They begged me to do these, it's and I gotta tell right. you, they absolutely make me sick. Check this out. Chris Stapps Porzingis couldn't believe how dysfunctional it is at Madison Square Garden, and that dude grew up in Latvia. Mm. What a terrible year for the Knicks. They had to escort a former legend out of the building for acting like a crazy person. Then there was that whole thing with Charles Oakley. Oh, I remember that. That nigga knocks somebody out or something. Phil Jackson's Knicks are the most embarrassing thing to happen in New York sports. And that Damn. includes the time Mark Sanchez ran full steam up his teammate's anus and fumbled a football. This is a bunch of rich motherfuckers out there. This is a bunch of rich motherfuckers out there. 
I'm not going there. My kids are here. I want to keep this thing classy. Anus. Listen, I'm not just here as your host tonight. I'm also here as a fan. And I'm here to celebrate sports. And it's been an amazing year full of stories that I love. I love that the Chicago Cubs finally won the World Series after 108 years. I love that Sidney Crosby led the Pittsburgh Penguins to the Stanley Cup for the second year in a row. I think that's hockey. I don't watch hockey. And I love that Serena Williams won the Australian Open while carrying a child. That's good. I know who Serena Williams is. I tried to play tennis, but I got kicked I mean, off the team. I mean, that's even more impressive than two years ago. They said my grades weren't good enough. That's another story. Won the Super Bowl while carrying me. That's right. Yeah. I'm not an idiot, right? I'm aware of these things. Okay, Von Miller, thanks again, pal. I owe you. Yeah. Mm. I love that the Final Five won the most Olympic medals of any U.S. women's gymnastics team ever. gymnastics team was so dominant that Kevin Durant told me he wants to play for them next year. Uh, uh, <laughs> Hold on, that nigga can't... <laughs> Hold on, KD look bad as hell. Gymnastics team was so dominant... Well, if you, I, I actually got that joke. Basically, he was saying they were so good that KD wanted to join. Basically, how they seen that the Warriors were so good, KD joined. That Kevin Durant told me he wants to play for them next year. This nigga look mad. He just looking at me. He look up. He notice he on the camera. But the nigga just look away like, fuck. Nigga ain't have shit to say. Oh. And I gotta tell you, I don't think he'd start for that team, Kevin. Damn. Russell Westbrook, what do you think? Can't. Uh, <laughs> this nigga here starting shit. And finally. And finally. <laughs> Because I'm being forced to say it, I love that Tom Brady and Bill Belichick won their fifth Super Bowl. Alright, 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 enough of that crap. Enough of that, alright? Enough of that. But you know, I really do feel for the Falcons. Because you know, I've been there. I know how tough it is to lose the Super Bowl. But I'm telling you, I believe in the Falcons. I believe in Matt Ryan, Dan Quinn, and I know in my heart the Falcons will be back, right? The Falcons will be back. And I want the Falcons to hear that from me now, at the beginning of the show, because I know they'll stop paying attention three quarters of the way in. Mm. <laughs> oh, damn, I don't know if that was a, a, a racist kind of joke. Because they, was all, they all black, they just don't give a fuck. I don't know. I don't know if that's a little subliminal I'm shot. Kidding. All right, relax. Listen, I'm not in the NFL anymore. I'm not rivals with the Patriots or the Falcons. Right now, my only rivals are in the insurance game. And I play for Team Nationwide. And I got to compete with Flo from Progressive, Mr. Discount mm -hmm. Double Check, Aaron Rodgers. And that damn Aflac duck. Then we have a duck out there. <laughs> get a better seat than DeAndre Jordan. I don't Damn. Know. Damn. I didn't realize they were getting a real duck either. That's, uh, wow. And listen, I know people got think, a little bow tie on the I duck. know people think that I do too many commercials, okay? But I just want to tell the haters out there, you're not going to get to me, all right? And there's no chance you're going to make me sweat. I can tell you, not Rich. Not with all the hydrating shit. electrolytes that I get from Gatorade Fierce. Uh... Gatorade Fierce, it's the Papa John's of sports drinks. Hey, see, yeah, he, he, he sponsors the Papa John's and Gatorade, I think so, man. He's a shout out both of them. From all and them the people. Thing that people seem to say about me is that I can shit. be a tad obsessive when it comes to preparation, but not tonight. Because you know, as I was watching Dennis Miller's 1994 monologue for the ninth time, I realized, Peyton, what are you doing? You're retired, you don't have to be in control of every little thing anymore. This shot looks a little tight, Russ. Can we pop out a bit? Mm. Okay, better, thanks. Listen, I don't need to be worried about <laughs> all the details. Bob, lights go to red. 
I'm not calling any plays tonight. Back to blue. I'm just here to have fun. Mm. Jeff, cut to PK Subban having fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> cut back to the duck also, yeah. Listen, I cut back yeah, to that, the that duck. Meticulous preparation. This nigga, he bought it. Call this shot. Fantasy MVP awards. Hold for applause. Hold for bigger applause. Bigger applause. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Call this shot. But those skills aren't needed here. This is a party, Star White. <laughs> <laughs> And I am the host of this party. Whoever's on these effects is really, is really witty. Night. I look forward to the ESPYs every year, and to be able to host this show, i got to tell you, it's a dream come true. So let's all relax. Let's have a great time. Remember that tonight. It doesn't matter who wins or loses, just like the NBA regular season. Fisher Rimshot. <laughs> Valdez, need my mic, need my big finish here. Hector, cue the music. You're going out with song. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get this show started. Go Pyrotechnics. Oh, Come on, Mike. Shit. It's the 25th anniversary of the ESPYs. Give us the real Pyrotechnics. Now we are talking. Ooh. Oh, uh, damn. That show is dope, though. Man, that's good shit. Yeah, that nigga Peyton Manning. That was funny. He did. He really did just come at that nigga KD. I wonder what the fuck KD got to say back to that. Because that nigga really was just sitting there just... Speechless was like he ain't he really ain't have shit to say. Even the the camera came back to him. He looked up, seeing that shit. Just I would milk man. Hey, fuck that nigga, man. I would have did something. Shit, man. But yeah, shout out Peyton Man. Shout out John Cena. Shout out Kevin Durant. Shout out Russell Russell Westbrook. Shout out all them. They all some entertainers. All superstars. All rich motherfuckers, man. Man, I fuck with that. I fucked with him just because he was able to have some fun out there. I hope it ain't cause Man, nah. And then KD probably be like, I bet. Just wait till after this show, nigga. I'm about to pop your ass. Man, if we hear something happen to pay, man, just know KD did it. But yeah, man, till next time, YouTube. I'm out. And then, man, I'm in your bitch, and then I'm out. Gone. All I need is five minutes in or out her mouth. <laughs>